There was a very interesting debate recently between Vegan Gains and Steve Shaw from Massive Iron. If you haven't seen the debate, then I highly recommend you watch it, whether you are vegan or not, as this particular debate is a prime example of how the true colors of someone can be surfaced through a simple discussion. First and foremost, I must say that Vegan Gains and I do not see to eye to eye on everything. I've insulted him publicly multiple times, and he's insulted me a few times for a few reasons that I don't feel is necessary to discuss at this particular moment. But you wonderful people know how this goes. It's, you know, the typical YouTube drama shit. Nonetheless, Vegan Gains and I do see eye to eye on the end result a vegan world. We both feel vegan lifestyle is the most ethical and logical way of living for humans in terms of the treatment of other animals, hence why we're so passionate about the subject. I think we both share the same belief that the vast majority of people would be vegan if they were properly educated, there was some type of law enforcement on the ethical, ethical treatment of animals, and if it was simply the normal way to live, the masses would just follow suit. Now, the delivery of how we spread the word of veganism is much different between Vegan Gains and myself. And I would even say most activists in general, which is where we have our differences. You would know that the typical meat-eating person who is aware of Vegan Gains would likely classify him as one of those militant vegans due to his aggressive approach when talking to people or making response videos to people. Vegan, vegan Gains doesn't necessarily have the best track record when communicating with others, but I must say, he actually surprised me with this recent debate of his. In his recent debate with Steve Shaw from Massive Iron and this Robert fellow who I'm not familiar with, Vegan Gains actually held his composure mightily well. The debate was supposed to be about vegan diets and athletic performance, but all three people in the debate agreed a vegan or plant-based diet is perfectly suitable for athletic performance and improvement. So there was really nothing to debate about. And since all three parties agreed very quickly that a vegan or plant-based diet is suitable for athletic performance, the debate drifted to the ethics of veganism compared to that of a meat-based diet. I was legitimately impressed on how composed Vegan Gains was as there were multiple times during the debate where Vegan Gains could have flown off the rails as he normally does, but he didn't. And who determines my moral grounds to eat meat, Richard? You? Well, well, no. Well, yourself then. Well, okay, well, no, I'm not you. saying I do. Tell me what to eat. Okay, well, Okay, like if you think you should have infinite freedom, like okay, does that mean I no, can? I did not say I, we should have infinite. <clears throat> Why are you putting words in my mouth? If you're going to talk about logic, stick to the stick to the fucking train tracks, would you? Don't fucking put words in my mouth. Okay, well, Steve, if you there's talk about logic. Then you step up to the plate and stop using bullshit. And don't put words in my mouth. Okay, okay, Steve, I didn't, I didn't mean to put words in your mouth. It, it's yes, just that a lot of these ideas are kind of conflicting with, with each other. That's how you... No, no, it's just that a lot of your ideas are conflicting with, with each other. Are you going to go round and round chasing your tail for the next 10 years? What the fuck solution? What is this going to help anybody? Contrary to the typical vegan gains we're all used to, he stayed calm. And it was actually Steve who completely lost his shit to the point where he ended up rage quitting the debate. Well, right. So you can understand my confusion when on one yeah, hand you say... confused, Richard. You've literally admitted multiple times to being logically inconsistent. So no, I don't think I'm the one confused here. <laughs> okay. You know what? Um, I think this was a bad decision. I I've really... You know, okay, well, there's no, like, like, like again, Steve, it's your shit. Okay, well, I guess he right. kicked me off. This was a huge shame for Steve, but I feel a giant win for veganism as a whole. I say this because Steve constantly kept contradicting himself and, like, talking in this loop, and he kept getting upset while Vegan Gains stayed really cool and polite throughout the whole debate. Super surprising. Vegan Gains stayed consistent with the message, and Steve would just like ramble on about trying to help society or how the taste of pig flesh would bring joy to his life. So bacon benefits me because it tastes happy, it brings joy in my life. And I'm not just being a smart ass, you know, I'm, I'm just saying 
that's the way the average individual is saying, thinking, right? Um, so I guess because something tastes good and it brings a few seconds or minutes of sensory pleasure, then it somehow justifies the means. In that case, I guess if I want to torture dogs and cats because I receive sensory pleasure, I should be able to because no one should tell me how to live my life. Remember, it's my life. So just wanted to clear that up. They're testing, they're test, you're establishing some arbitrary uh, um, scenario to test my standards relative to yours. What I'm it's not relative to mine. What I, what I would say is that I don't want your ethics telling me what the fuck to do. Well, Even no, I'm testing your standards on. relative to your own standards. Exactly. Which means I should have the right to do what I want to do because I have my set of ethics, which involves killing and torturing sentient beings for sensory pleasure, just like you do, Steve. Don't judge me, Steve, because I'm my own individual. What we do not want is I do not want Robert's ethics telling me what to do. I do not want my ethics telling Robert what to do. And I do not want yours telling me what to do. You I do certainly want, do. Uh, I, I do not. Because we as a, we as a society determine that together. <clears throat> and it's, it's something that evolves. And you mentioned earlier that we are evolving as a society. And that was the foundation of why you believed in 200 years we would evolve into this thing. We're evolving past stuff as a society. So using the standard that you established, right? Using the standard that you established, your belief in society evolving, right? We have to have that give and take of these forums. But one person doesn't get to dictate ethics. Um, the group gets to gets to get together like this, um, and two out of three vote, or however the system works. And at this moment, Steve is saying that no one person dictates ethics and as a group, society decides what is right and wrong. However, no one can tell you what you can and cannot do. And anyone else confused by this? I mean, isn't this some type of like appeal to popularity? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought logic and compassion should be the main drivers of what dictates morality or ethics, not societies or even one person for that matter. Anyone disagree? No? Yeah, well, I thought so. That's right. I can see you all right now through the lens of this camera. Slickster vision. I'm going down a huge rabbit trail here, but as far as ethics, none of us are perfectly good. None of us are perfectly evil. Life is very complicated. I just don't want anybody else telling me what my ethics should be. They can go fuck themselves. That's okay, sure. I'm saying that at you, but I'm saying in general, we we work as a society to evolve that. But we also have to understand as a society, we can get way off the map like we are right now. Does that make sense? Makes total sense, doesn't it? Steve doesn't want to be judged when he's just doing what every other American is doing is what I think he's trying to say. He believes he should be able to do whatever he wants as long as it's within the boundaries of what the law and society says is okay, but you shouldn't be told what to do by anyone else in terms of the ethical treatment of animals, and you shouldn't also listen to the law and society. The circle Steve Shaw goes around during the debate was quite perplexing to say the least. I mean, you would have to see the whole debate to see what I'm talking about. It was very astonishing. Oh, okay, and when I challenge your stance on meat eating, uh, like you come back with me with saying you shouldn't be able to tell me what to do, but so far you haven't actually like been able to come up with like a, a logically consistent argument. No, I'm going to go out and eat a pig, and I don't want you telling me to eat a pig or not. I want that decision for myself based on my life, based on what is going on in my world. That's all I'm okay. saying. I don't want okay, you. So I don't want you and a group of other people to say, at all times, in all cases, thou shall not eat a pig. It is my commandment. That's all I'm saying.
Okay. That's great, Steve. Steve, Robert, and Vegan Gains all establish it's not necessary to eat animal products for performance or health or whatever, yet Steve says he should have the right to eat a pig as that is his life and no one can tell him what to do. Again, in that case, since Steve wants to eat a pig for sensory pleasure, he's deciding to put sensory pleasure, sensory pleasure above life. So using Steve's same logical framework, it's okay for me to torture dogs and cats or any animal for my visual sensory pleasure because you, can, you can't tell me how I can please my own senses. I have the right to please my senses the same way you do. And I quote, you can go fuck yourself, end quote, if you want to tell me what to do in terms of how I satisfy my sensory pleasure wants. So in that case, as I said, Michael Vick is innocent. Anybody who abuses dogs or cats or any animal for that matter for sensory pleasure is completely 100% innocent according to the logical framework of Mr. Steve Shaw from Massive Iron. Brilliant. Steve Shaw is clearly in a land where he is in a horrible fight with his own logical self and internal pride. And clearly his pride is winning. I remember I was watching the stream live and I told Vegan Gains to divert his focus to Robert as Steve was pretty much a lost cause at this moment. I mean, his walls were way up and Steve was just going to continue to bash his own head into the wall he built to protect his own pride. I mean, I don't blame Richard for continuing with Steve. I, I mean, as it is a debate or even having the capabilities to read my comment as he is in the middle of a debate and I'm just some random person commenting in the chat window. So no issues there. I'm just saying I wish somehow he would have seen it or somebody would have told him whatever. Egan Gaines did even go as far as telling Steve that they could change the subject if he wanted since he was getting upset, but Steve still decided to continue to talk about the subject anyways. And then booted vegan gains off the stream. I mean, I, I don't understand like how this person operates. It seems like Steve has a massive ego and I believe Vegan Gains handled it like a professional. I was very impressed to say the least because I think other people in the fitness community and just general population will see this debate and the evidence will show that Vegan Gains was not only the more logical person in this debate, but the more professional one as well, which is not the vegan gains people are used to seeing. That being said, after vegan gains was kicked off of Steve Shaw's live stream, he had this to say. Like, I think that was crazy how he just flat out kicked me off the stream because I said, like, even right at the beginning when I joined back, it's like, I'd like to talk about, you know, ethics a bit more, but if you're uncomfortable with that, like if you don't want to, cause you're getting frustrated, like that's fine. And then when he got frustrated, I was like, okay, dude, like we can change the subject or something if you want, there's no reason to get angry. And then he just flipped out. Like, what? it's fucking funny, man. <laughs> like it goes to show too. Um, people always complain about me being like mean and rude and stuff. I've made this point before, you can't control how other people react to you. So yeah, you can be completely polite and cordial and then people can just treat you like shit and get angry. Like it doesn't really fucking matter. Yes, I agree. You cannot control how people react to you during a debate, but what you can alter is the perceptions of your audience and his audience that being Steve Shaw's audience, which I feel is way more valuable. Vegan Gains has a reach of thousands of people and if people see how well he conducted himself during this debate with a respected lifter in the fitness community like Steve Shaw from Massive Iron, then I think it opens the doors for people to, to discuss the ethical dilemmas of not being vegan in today's society. These are good things and this type of persistent, challenging, yet polite attitude and respectful attitude is necessary at times to reveal the fallacies of a person who has a warped perception of what is considered ethical today. Just because one individual decides to act like a fool, it doesn't necessarily mean it is now effective for the vegan movement for you to sink down to that individual's level. Richard, Vegan Gains, if you do get a chance to watch this, you did a good job, bro. And you left no holes in your discussion which is a positive thing for the movement. Please keep going and thank you for being respectful and cool about all of this. So that's all I have for now. Did any of you watch the debate by chance? If you did, then please let me know. 
in the comment sections down below what you thought about it. And if you haven't, then please go watch it as I think this is a great chance to learn something from all of this. The link will be in the description box down below. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you. Feel free to do any of the three things you see behind me. If you haven't already, I'm The Natural Hoaxer. I wanna thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.